What's up guys, it's Nolan, and today I'm here with another new video for you guys. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the time me and my brother were riding in a car for a test drive and the car dealer farted and lied to us about the car and yeah. Alright, so this was like a couple months ago ago like beginning of may and like we had been looking for cars we go to the mazda dealership just me and my brother and this guy comes out and he's like what are you looking for how old are you blah blah my brother wasn't 18 so it was illegal for him to test drive a car so we had to go and like ride with someone he's like oh it's a nice car it has good gas mileage i go and look at the gas mileage it's like 12 miles to the gallon in the city and this car is tiny like tiny i'm pretty sure it should have gotten more than that oh also he couldn't get into the car to begin with so and he was shorter and he was a little bit bigger but he couldn't even get into the car um but he was trying to sell it to a six foot five um teenager so he's like driving and then he puts it into like second gear because it's a stick shift car and my brother can't drive stick shift, so I don't know why he pulled this one out for us. He's driving this car, and I'm sitting in the back seat, which is tiny. He's like, oh, it has nice seats. I look next to me, and there is a, like, gash, like, a rip in this cloth-seated car. Um, and they were in terrible condition. They were, like, dirty. I patted one of them, and dust came out of them while he was driving. I was like, mm, these seats are kind of dusty. He's like, oh, yeah, we could clean that up for you. Sure you would. It just wasn't a very good car. He was like, oh, um, so I think this would be a nice car for you. It has a lot of room. Let me tell you, my brother's seat was not all the way up. He pushes it all the way back because the guy's like, oh, you can push it all the way back. You have um, enough room in this car. He pushes it all the way back, and I'm behind him. And he doesn't even get all the way back, and it's touching my knees. And this guy's like, oh, it's a really nice car, really space. Like, mm, are you blind, sir? Yikes. We're driving and he doesn't know how to do stick shifts. So like we were driving and it was like and then it was like oh I'm I'm just a little like rusty on it. Like I it just takes a couple minutes to pick up on. Like, um, okay, that was like 15, 16 minutes long and it was bumpy the entire ride. So we're driving and it's like, oh yeah, when you get to a stop sign you like wanna shift down and it's like like okay. A motor should not sound like that if you didn't know car dealer. And all of a sudden, we go past, like, this, um, little lake, and it smells like pure butthole in this car. <laughs> he, like, sharded his pants. It smelled so disgusting in that car. This guy farted in this car while we were in it, taking it for a test drive. He farted. And you know what he did? You know what this guy did? He didn't say, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, or roll down the windows. This guy blinded on the lake. Now, excuse me, if you're gonna try and sell me a car and you fart in this car, whether it was on purpose or on accident, probably not gonna buy the car, first of all. Second of all, you better say, excuse me, or oops, I'm sorry, something like that, and not blame it on a lake. Five minutes later, after farting, he finally rolled down the windows. And he's like, ooh, it still smells in here. Like, mm, really? Like, what's it supposed to go? See through the giant rip in the cloth seat next to me? No. I'm pretty sure my brother gave him a fake number, by the way. But, you know. That's none of my business. Alright, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Comment down below if you liked this video or if you'd like other videos like this one. And subscribe to my channel if you're... If you are new, and if you aren't new, thank you for watching another one of my videos. See you guys next video.